Did you know that you can talk to chat GPT directly with these glasses? These smart glasses are the Lucid glasses and I've been using them for the past couple of weeks. Now, if you've been to my channel before, you know that I have been raving about my Ray-Ban Meta smart glasses ever since I got them about six months ago. So how does the Lucid smart glasses compare to the Ray-Ban Meta glasses? Well, for starters, the Lucid Smart Glasses look more like a regular pair of glasses than the Ray-Ban Metas. Now, that's not to say that the Ray-Ban Metas don't look like regular glasses. It's just that there's only a couple of frames available. You have the Wayfarers and the Headliners for the Ray-Ban Metas. But with the Lucid Smart Glasses, there are actually a ton of different frames that you can get. Um, these are just the ones that I thought were the cutest. The reason for that is that the Lucid Smart Glasses actually don't have cameras built into them, Ray-Ban Metas do. However, if you watch one of my recent Ray-Ban Meta videos, which I'll link above, I did mention that the cameras are my least used features on the Ray-Ban Metas. Okay, so let's talk about the similarities first. Now, these are both smart glasses that have speakers and microphones built in, so you can listen to music or you can talk on the phone with both of these perfectly fine. With both of them, you can pause music, start music, lower the volume, raise the volume, skip to the next song, or skip back to the previous song um, quite easily. So comparing the audio between the two, I'd say that the audio was pretty comparable. I'd say maybe the speakers on the Ray-Ban Metas might be slightly better, but like overall, I'm not really hearing a lot of difference. Let me check again. I would say that the Ray-Ban Metas have a slightly deeper or richer sound. You can definitely hear the bass a bit more, whereas the Lucid doesn't have as much of that deepness and richness on the sound quality. You can definitely listen to music on the Lucid smart glasses and still have a very enjoyable experience. When it comes to talking on the phone, the microphone quality on both are very comparable. Like no one can tell the difference when I'm using my Ray-Ban Metas to talk to them on the phone versus the Lucid smart glasses versus my actual iPhone. I think that all of these have amazing microphone quality, so that doesn't really have a comparison. So in terms of weight, I would say that the Raven Metas is just like a tad bit heavier, but it's again, not really anything that you would notice while having this on your head. They're both quite light, which is really impressive. The, one of the main differences you'll notice between the two is that the Ray-Ban Meta only has this one button right here on the top of the right side and that's usually what you use to like take photos and videos. Otherwise, the, uh, the rest of the controls on the Ray-Ban Metas are actually on the touchpad built into the sides of the frames. With the Lucid glasses, these do not have a touchpad on the sides. So instead, in order to control the glasses, you would actually find these tiny little buttons like so. There's this button and then another one on the right side. They're very, very small, actually. So yeah, as you can see, these are super, super tiny buttons. When it comes to the input system on these glasses, it takes a little bit more time to remember all like all the controls that you could do with these buttons on the Lucid glasses. For example, there's a single click or a double click or a triple click or press and hold for two seconds and press and hold for seven seconds. So there's all these different things that you could do in order to control the glasses, but you could do absolutely everything pretty much that you could do with the Ray-Ban Metas in terms of controls on the Lucid glasses. Glasses, even though they don't have a touchpad like the Ray-Ban Metas. I will say overall, while the Ray-Ban Meta um, like swipe feature and the touchpad feature is pretty cool, I do like the actual buttons on the Lucid glasses more. The only reason being when I'm wearing my Ray-Ban Metas, I'm often like moving it or fidgeting with it. Then I accidentally press, I accidentally tap on the touchpad and then it starts playing music when I don't want it to. So then I have to turn it off and it just, the touchpad for some reason always just triggers music when I don't want it to. So that can be quite annoying. But with the Lucid smart glasses, there's just that's just not going to happen. <laughs> um, there is no chance of you actually. I mean, OK, maybe there is, but like very, very little chance of you actually accidentally pressing these buttons. Now, both of them pair to Android or iOS phones just fine. So they're both compatible with whatever mobile phone you're using. I think the main difference here, again, is that the Ray-Ban Metas have the video and photo feature, whereas the Lucid glasses do not. The Ray-Ban Metas only come in two frames, which they look okay on me, but okay, like 
this is what the Ray-Ban Meta Wayfair looks on me, which is the better option for my face compared to the headliners versus the lucid glasses, which I just think are so cute. So um, let me know what you think, which one you think is better. But I do like that the lucid glasses obviously have way more options because they don't have the camera and the photo feature. I do love the camera and photo feature on the Ray-Ban Metas, but again, I don't use that on a day-to-day -day basis. Like that is something that I use when I'm going to an event or more specifically, it's something that I use a lot when I recently went on my trip to the Philippines, which I completely filmed a bunch of content on there that I still need to post in a future video. So I don't think that it's a complete deal breaker to not have them in the lucid glasses. Again, I don't think that everyone's always taking photos and videos. Also, if you already wear glasses on a normal basis, like this, I mean, it's going to have the exact same frame pretty much that you would normally use for your regular glasses, except now instead of just having normal glasses, which don't have any smart stuff in it, you can have the lucid glasses, which allows you to have a bunch of smart features into it. And then of course we gotta talk about price. So the lucid smart glasses are about up to half the price of the Ray-Ban Metas, depending on the frames that you get and if they're on sale or not. So the Ray-Ban Metas are about 300 US dollars and the Lucid Glasses, I've seen some of these go for $159 on their website. Um, so that's a drastic price difference. You can get smart glasses that work really well for like almost half the price of the Ray-Ban Metas if you don't care about the photo and video feature. Another cool thing about the um, Lucid Glasses is Ray-Ban Meta obviously has their Meta AI built into it. That's Meta's proprietary AI software. While Lucid has ChatGPT built into this, you do need to set it up, which I can make another video on if people are interested. And you can actually access ChatGPT4 for free right now on the Lucid glasses. That comes as part of the software that you download onto your phone, but eventually it won't always be free. So. Uh, really cool to take advantage of that right now. Okay, so some of the features that you can use the Lucid Smart Glasses, you can send a voice message via text, you can send a text message, you can call someone, you can send money to someone, you can ask it to check your messages, check your mailbox, um, find a certain food nearby to call you an Uber, ask what time it is play a certain song, get you directions to different places, and also to take memo that will go into your notes and to read your notes back. So I'll need to spend some more time with um, playing with all these different features. But overall, for the daily use case that I generally use my smart glasses for, which is taking calls, listening to audiobooks, listening to my messages, the Lucid Glasses definitely do all those functions really well and is a very good alternative for Ray-Ban Metas for those features. Okay, I will see you next time. Bye.